Y'all got a home here, man. Come mess with me, cat. You know what it is, man. Anyway, we're going to get out of here, man. Thank you for That's coming, Shan. Nah, hey, if you got more to say, I got more to stay. No, you got Let's get it. Me. Let's go, know. man. Hey, like, roll on. Right. Hey. No. hey. Oh, I don't care if that. Uh, you what? know what I mean? Hey, go get, go get my ring because I told y'all I'm going to marry her on air now. You know? <laughs> <laughs> she my future ex-wife, y'all, by the way, man. You saying get up? <laughs> No, no, oh, no. Oh, oh, he's just giving oh. you your. He's giving oh, you your. Oh, oh, okay, man. okay, okay, okay. okay. Look, yeah. You gotta ask me something. That was just I like, okay, how do you ask? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta make sure it sound like something. Okay, all that stuff is good because it's go easy ahead. to you say. Go ahead. You got anything you want to ask me? You got it. Just go. Let's go. I, that's what I'm talking about. I thought Learn I was on your show. This not the CEO show. Look here, man. This is whatever you want. Y'all ain't heard. Say I got Ken in the building. Hey, Ken. Kareno, you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Got the uh, legend Zero about to walk through the door. You mm -hmm. know what I'm talking about? It's a, it's a uh, all study star foul, man. That's mm -hmm. what I'm talking about. The dirty third way. Are we rolling, five? Hey, man, I got gifts. Yeah. I got gifts. And for y'all that don't know, I've been living under a rock some motherfucking way. This is CEO Shan of Simply Sense. You know what I'm talking about? Like I told y'all, man, this is not just rap, ball playing. This is empowerment of my people. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I appreciate and you. I'm so proud of you, man, and I just want you to, you know, drop some jewels to the people that let them know, man, we ain't got to sell dope. Women don't have to wait on men. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They can actually be an empire, some, you know, similar to what you done did. Yeah, they you know definitely what I'm can. Yeah, so go ahead and introduce yourself and let's get it cracking. All right. Well, I'm CEO Shan. Shan Graves is my name. Mm -hmm. My company is Simply Sense Candle Company. And, um, yeah, we make candles that make sense. That make sense, man. Yeah. And it ain't just no normal scent. Now, don't let her downplay this thing because you can go in Walgreens, Walmart. You can go around the world anywhere and find this, man. So now y'all can put a face with that beautiful candle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, like, to see this happening on my side of town, out my neighborhood, is just incredible, man. You know what I'm saying? So how did you start this thing, Shane? Like, what make, what gave you the inspiration to do Simply Candles? Like, Well, I, I started off, I've done a lot of things. I'm a veteran. I was in the military. Okay. Um, I worked at NASA. I was a flight attendant. But um, while I was a flight attendant, they kept laying me off doing 9-11, right? Uh -huh. So I was like, okay, this is going to be what I'm going to do for a while, you know, because I love traveling you right. know, meeting people, doing different things. So um, they kept laying me off and laying me off. I was like, damn. What's that about? I know. <laughs> so I was watching Martha Stewart, and she was like, um, she was talking about candle making. And I was like, hmm, maybe I can make some candles and sell them and give them away for gifts. Because okay. it was Christmas time, because I was like, right. I ain't going to have much money to, um, you know, to buy no gifts. So let me, like, let me just try to make some. So I started researching it that night, but I always did stuff. So when I was a flight attendant, so I used to fly to New York, go get purses and come back and sell them. You know, like just Hustle. always did stuff, you know, right. on top of me having a job, always okay. did that stuff. So um, it was just a matter of, okay, let me just research these candles. So I started researching. So I went home, I went to Michael's, I bought all this stuff. I made them, they was decent. Okay. But I always loved candles, and I used to get in trouble for letting them burn all day, right? <laughs> so I was like, dang, what if I make a candle, but you can really smell it? Like, how, what, what What? would that? And then all the possibilities just start going through my mind. They run out. People have to come back and buy more. Uh -huh. And what if, you know, you, you sitting here talking to you today? You know, uh -huh. just all of, this, all of the things. And I was like, ooh. So I was like, let me just see how to really make them. Like, let me just really get into it, right? So by that time, they had called me back to work. And, um, yeah, and they say, so I worked a little bit more. I didn't think about the candles no more. But then they was going to lay me off again. Oh, here we I go. know. That's what yeah. I say, man. I ain't going to oh, be able to do this. No. I'm going to have to find me something else. I ain't going to be able to do this. <laughs> yeah. So um, my last paycheck, it was $467. Come After on, I had man. researched all the supplies and stuff to get it, so as soon as I um, touched down and got home, I went and spent the whole thing on supplies. Oh, that's a hustle. And man. it just kind of like. 
the way I made them is the way I researched them. Right. Yeah, so I was like, let me just go to the same beauty salons and barbershops. And just, when I take the purses, I'm going to take the candles, but I'm going to just leave it. I'm not going to sell them. Right. So um, they was like, Shane, what you got now? I was like, oh, I got some candles. I ain't trying to sell them. Just if your customers ask about it, call me. Right? So maybe in like four or five days, they was like, hey, you got some more candles? And that's when Whoa. I knew. I was like, oh, they like them something. candles? Yes. Already. So mm-hmm. you went and you got this $400 re-up and just, wow. Yeah. What year was this? This was in 2002. Yeah, so, so it's been you like just, you 21 years ago. 21 years now? Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. And then, so um, this just so you started out putting it like in people's shops. Mm-mm, I started out selling them in my trunk for the first four years. Wow. I wasn't in a shop till like my fifth year, but um, I just sold candles. That was just my way of meeting and marketing with people. Yeah, I that. already knew people, so it was just a matter if I go to Belvedere, I'm going to have a trunk full of candles and <laughs> and I only sold candles by the you case. Say, Belvedere, so hold that, up. That's how far really it go, right? Yeah, so, so you're making saying, the same uh, iconic hustle uh, uh, circuit that everybody else is doing, but you like, I got my own twist to this game. Yep, I got candles and people knew that, so right. they'd be like, I need to get a case of candles when I leave. Because I started selling individual candles to people and things, but as they kind of grew, I was like, well, I'm going to sell a case of candles uh, for $50. That's the only way that I'm going to be able to sell Right, them. right. And to put a wholesale on them so that yeah. they can make them a markup. That's what I, exactly what I did. Man, I'm talking about, man. And it's yeah. the same candle. I swear. And and you know Simply Sense by this joy. I'm glad you never <laughs> changed <laughs> nothing because one day I was in Walgreens and I was like, Shan? Yeah. <laughs> but I was across the street from your shop, so yep. it only made sense. And then... I was out of town, and I said, I said whoa, hold mm-hmm. on, she owned to something now. Mm-hmm. So 21 years, it just, you know, just went to popping. So we're like, where was that, that, that breakout point to where you felt like, okay, now I'm doing this for life now? When you got the shop, or was it before? When I made my first candle and sold it. Wow. I was like, this is what I'm about to do. I know my family going to be pissed off. Right. You know, because I told them, they was like, what? But my family, they know the work. I come from a background of hardworking women. Everybody yeah, That's hard. what I was just going to say. It got to be got, in your family. Yeah. yeah. Everybody had 401ks. It, it, entrepreneurship wasn't even a word back then. Right. You know what right. I mean? It's just like you go to work, you make your money, and that's all I knew. Right. So that's, um, you know, so they was a little pissed off about that. And when you start, you hell, fuck that. When you start getting laid off, you was like, you know what? It can't I, get no worse than this. I yeah. mean, let me get this a try. Yeah. If this don't work, then I can all know you so I can go get a good job. And then everybody know you. So it's like, okay, shit, now she ain't got to come. She ain't got to come. Mm-hmm. She ain't got to come. You mm-hmm. know, man, I'm talking about like, this is amazing right here, man. I'm telling y'all, man, because to see, I love to empower my women, man, because it's like, they need to see this. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. To know, like, and then this new brunch thing you was doing where you brought Latoya uh, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, Carter. Yeah, conference, yeah. Yeah, you had all. Uh, tell me a little bit about that, man. What was that like? You know what I mean? Uh, it was nice. This is my third annual conference, and I just try to get a room full of like-minded ladies together and encourage and motivate each other and share resources or share, like, now I'm sure you can pick up the phone and call people. Right. You know what I mean? So I can do that, too, and I like to share those people with people and we all get together and, and build just, something and just kick it man. yeah so this the third annual right yeah here? this the third annual one wow wow who are you had this year is it the same people coming every year or you no, just uh-uh. as, as people growing you knowing and networking just mm-hmm. different people who you had this year tell us a little bit um, about it Toya was my um my guest um, and this is Lil Wayne's uh baby mother right yeah. here his his kid's mother yeah <laughs> we I, was, say it I right. was watching uh, her show actually okay and I would end up crying on the show, just really feeling the show. And I was like, dang. Did you know her at this time or was it? No, I, I didn't know her. And you just her. reached out. Oh, I was dope. like, I think, I think, I think, let's see how much it is to have Toya to come to the conference and or what that, uh, what that'll look like. What did it look like? And, and we made it happen. And you just reached out to her and she, well, I'm sure when she looked at your page, she was like, oh, okay. Yeah. They don't care about that. They want, yeah, you can't you pay this price. <laughs> <laughs> or you can have two followers, but if you're going to pay this. you got that bag. You come on, pay this drop money, that yeah. bag. <laughs> and we on the way, flights and all. So who else? I seen like a, a, like six or seven people on yeah, there. Yeah, I have. Um, Labrina was on there. Um, Billy was on there. Um, Joy was on there. These are all ladies in there thriving in their areas, you know, or just That's thriving dope. in life, period, and just, yeah. you know. 
something dope. Next time you're doing that, man, let me know so I can advertise that on here, man, because I feel like, you know, a lot of women, especially black women, and I don't care, white women, orange women, whatever. Yeah. If you into entrepreneurship, man, you know, you need to get out there, man. It, it's especially now, the way the economy is now. We have to find more than one way to skin a cat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I never thought that I'd be on here talking about some, you know, especially my background, coming from what I'm coming through, you know, trying to, you know, make a space for the city. And that's all I'm trying to do is just do something different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody rapping and throwing footballs and basketballs and selling dope and doing all that, man. What else can we do? Mm -hmm. Because if you're a hustler, you have the spirit of an entrepreneur. Right. It's just a different product. Mm -hmm. You see how you say I took that $400, mm -hmm. last check, bought some shit, made it work, and just said, you know what? This going to work. Mm -hmm. You have to put it in your heart and your mind what's going to happen, and, and, and it's going to work. You mm -hmm. see it. This is living proof. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, man? I just got to give you a big shout-out, man, for real, man, because like, I'm proud of you because I've been mm -hmm. watching, you know what I mean? We got friends of each other, Sock. You know, I know, you know, a yeah. few people you know. We all, you know, cross hairs. And I know you was like, man, what the hell Mike D want? You know what I'm saying? But I want I people to that. know. You know what I mean? Yeah. I want people to know. Mm -hmm. And I want to shine that light on us. Like, because we all, like me and Kay Reno was talking, everybody feel like just because it's from New York, it's better than what we got. Mm -hmm. Just because it's from California, it's better than what we got. Mm -hmm. No. We don't know where Simply Sense from. It's from here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. from Houston. It's Houston bread. Yes. Let's H get it to the top baby. of the... Uh, yeah, H-Time. Yeah. Yeah. Bound, baby. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. Put yes. it in their face, man. That's what I'm saying. So is it... Uh, I see you, you know, the shop is thriving. It's on uh, Alameda. Right, 5217 Alameda. How long you been there? Nine years. Nine years. But I was on OST for like seven and a half years Yeah. Uh, yeah before yeah. that. That's what he told me. He was like, yeah. man, no, she was on OST before that. I said, yeah. no, I think it's just been. And Ken corrected me. They corrected me. So, yeah, that's what's up, man. Yeah. 21 years. S seven here, nine now. So that was six years or five years in the field in developing. My in my trunk, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I should have had you some CDs back then. I should have told him. <laughs> I should have told him, man, get sharing them CDs. When we was hustling CDs, man, shit would have. Hey, man, that's what I'm talking about right there, man. And yeah. now, you know, if you, I see you move into this office space. Tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about that. The growth yeah. is, yeah, yeah, it's remarkable, man. It's a process. We have a manufacturing um, space now because wow. we make we started making candles in the back. Like we, we still do. In so the you were literally store. doing, not ordering the candles. You literally I make everything do still, yes. Wow. Everything we make it ourselves. The spray, wow. the oil, the candles, and the candle cakes, everything. Everything. Like mm -hmm. I'm telling you, she can make a candle out of anything, man. Mm -hmm. I've seen, I seen so much. You I saw my I say, joint candle? Yes. I wish I had something to bring her, but they only tease I, me. Oh, don't worry. Part yeah. two. <laughs> five, five know how we do. What we do, especially with the business owners. We, we get you here, mm -hmm. and then we come to your business, and then we get the people to see mm -hmm. firsthand what we're talking about. Y'all not going to believe this, man. This woman got a drink candle, man. That's what sold me. I was like, okay, mm -hmm. I got to come <laughs> get it, man. Because, you know, I'd have been a few times and just to say, hey, man, give me one of everything. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? That's just support. That's what we have to yeah. do. You know what I'm saying? You see somebody trying, man, just go. F and then I seen a lady pull up, and she had like a, a bartender uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. And I That's say, look at Shan, she, she making everybody, but she rubbing that money off <laughs> of everybody, man. I'm no, but about. she got an awesome story because she is like a very talented bartender. She real popular. I've seen her. You've seen yeah. her, right? Oh, so yeah, just for me her. going yeah. to Gracie's, talking yeah. to her at the bar and giving That's business, what I just business yeah. strategies, yeah. Yes. she yes. resigned and did it, and I'd be like, oh, I'm so proud of her. Like right. That just make me be like, man. Oh, I'm so proud of my black woman. It, it can be done. Like, man, that's what's up, man. Because, see, that's what people need to see. It ain't all about laying up with some nigga, waiting on what they got, or waiting on them to go to jail to get their money <laughs> to mess it up. Like, yeah. we need them Keisha KR stories. We yeah. need that. You know what I mean? We yeah. need that, man. And she took that two million and turned it into six stories. And it don't have to be two million. It could be 2000 Yeah. Hell, she started with $400. Yeah. It could be the 400 but let's just build into each other and make that black love even pop even harder, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. that's what's up, man. I'm proud of you, Shan, for real, man. Thank you. And so you say the warehouse is now, now your warehouse status. So what are y'all going to be doing now? Just getting bigger and creating more and making yes, sure the um, demand is met? 
marketing, I mean, not marketing, I'm sorry, um, manufacturing and shipping and receiving, so online sales, because next door, we have an event space, but in the back of it, um, we do shipping and receiving, so we just outgrow the space, that's wow. all, it's just wow. outgrow Are you going to stay on? Uh, yeah, that'll always be my flagship that's store, be the flagship if right I have there. another one, you know, other places, right. I'll that always keep that store. Yeah, that was my next thing. Were you thinking about it? maybe, you know, after this, you know, expanding more? Are you going to stay online? Are you thinking about, you know, going to state to state? I'm doing every all of that. Wow. Yeah, I'll be wow. in Atlanta at the end of the month for like four days building relationships. I'm coming out with a candle line with somebody. You'll see it when I post hey, it. Hey, man. And yeah, I'm, man. You'll be first new dibs on Thank the news, <laughs> man. We're going to break it right here on the Dirty Third yes, Podcast, yes. man. That's what I'm talking about right there. Yeah. So we can look forward to Atlanta store, maybe? Maybe so. I'm, I'm going to relationships, right? stores everywhere. Everybody loves candles. I, they do. Right? They really, do. a really great candle that's, you know, affordable. You, you are a Sunday stay. So you and everybody house on Sundays. You know, you clean up. You <laughs> good, know what I'm saying? Good, now it's, good, like, good. it's like, yeah, I got to light my simply sense. And yeah, what I got to do is get you and my brother Bam together. And I need y'all to do a collab. Oh, I would love to do that with Bam. Wouldn't that be dope? Yep. Well, we could turn it into a candle and, you know what I mean? Because I think what's this? What's this? Top selling spray, the uh, original yeah. or the um, we you know, <laughs> I created this one. The tropical, oh, so okay. I'm gonna pump that one up. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So maybe, maybe that's what we can do. We do a tropical. We do a blend, and you set know, set it up. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do up. it. That's what all this about, man. Is getting together and empowering each other and making sure that we work, man. So I know you've been a work all day. I appreciate you coming through. Mm, thanks for I having just, me, though. I just wanted to make sure that yeah. you get your shine. You know what yeah, I mean? I appreciate, so I appreciate it. it. I appreciate My it. My coworker, I was like, um, she, she from the south side. You know, I'm from the north side. Mm -hmm. So she, I say, you, you ever heard of Mike P. Corleone? And she was like, yeah, I don't know him, but I heard of you. Okay. I said, oh, God, I'm going to be on this podcast today. She was like, okay, look at you. Oh, man. So, That's you know, great. I told my mom and them, I was, so I'm, I'm excited to be here anytime anybody, not anybody, but people ask me. To come and be a part of oh, it. Why yeah. wouldn't I? We're breaking history. Yeah. That's what we're doing, man, and we're building together. Yeah. That's the thing. So as you grow, we grow, we yeah. all grow. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you always got a home here. Yeah, thank you. Anything that you want to, you know, bring to the people, it's welcome here. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for the gifts that you brought. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to make sure we keep Simply Sense on here 24-7. It's a I must. I told him that it's I'm going to make my sure that yeah. happens. Okay, so That'll be a part of my sponsorship. There we go. So <laughs> now when we say, <laughs> hey, man, we sponsored by this, we sponsored by that, I'm sponsored by Simply Sense yeah. and CEO Shan. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> That's what it is, man. Hey, man, anytime you need to come back and tell us something or you got somebody that you funk with, that you feel like they need to get out there, oh, especially okay. the women. Mm -hmm. Send them my way because that's the whole thing. I don't want people to just think we just catering to men mm -hmm. or just a certain genre. You know, you've music. had other ladies on here before. No, you, well, I've had one? no, but I've had necessary for as far oh, okay. as the first business owner. You, oh, okay, yes. okay, business owner. You are okay. very first. Okay, oh, this is about but really rap, right? Well, it's rap, uh, sports, hip hop community, all that. You know okay. what I'm saying? So we gonna, but before it's over. We're going to be versatile. We're going to be 360 with this thing, man, because yeah. I want the business, the music, and the sports. I want everything that's black-owned and black-operated to run through here, man. I don't care if you're selling malls. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I want people saying I want to be able to say, nah, we talking about acting, whatever. Whatever yeah. you had to offer, we win. Here. Oh, I got <laughs> really deep beat me to the punch. <laughs> God dog it, but that's all right, though. He will throw that alley-oop. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. you know, and shout out Cat, man, because like they say, man, hey, it might be some of that on a uh, whip, but a lot of that shit was true. I think so, too. Oh, yeah, for sure. He yeah. wouldn't be saying it. First thing they do when you go to talking the truth is they say what? He crazy. He crazy. There's something wrong mm -hmm. with him, man. Like they had Martin going down, running down the street, butt naked and all. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with them people. Dave Chappelle. Nah. They start telling the truth and Hollywood go to try to shut you down. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's why y'all got a home here, man. Come mess with me, cat. You know what it is, man. Anyway, we're going to get out of here, man. Thank you for That's coming, Shan. Nah, hey, if you got more to say, I got more to stay. No, you got Let's get it. Me. Let's go, you? man. Oh, hey, like, roll on. Hey, hey. Oh, I'll man. get respect in that. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, What's go, get, go get my ring because I told you I was going to marry her on air now. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> She's my future ex-wife, y'all, by the way, man. You see, yeah. get up. <laughs> No, no, oh, no. Oh, he you was just, giving oh. you your, he's giving oh, you your oh, head. Oh, okay, 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 okay. 
Look, you gotta ask me something. That was just I like okay, hey, you, gotta say, you, gotta, you gotta you gotta make sure it sound like something. Okay, all that stuff good because it's go easy ahead. to you say. You got anything you want to ask me? You got it? Just go. Let's go. I, that's what I'm talking about. I thought Learn I was on your show. This not the CEO share show. Look at here, man. This is whatever you <laughs> wanted to see. Man.